what is happening guys welcome on back to shadow of the earth tree so i took that katana that we just got from dragon dude over there and basically leveled it all the way up well leveled it up to a uh, plus nine a lot of these weapons i'm just taking to plus nine because i don't want to take things to plus ten and waste uh maximum stones but uh let's let's try this katana out i've i i think it might be pretty cool if you tap the l2 it's a quick basically slash and if you hold it down it basically slashes out that long slash so we're gonna run with that for a bit it's kind of it's like a it's a pretty good speed weapon um damage is not astronomical on this so i mean we got a six 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 damage and if we buff ourselves with golden vow gonna take this damage up to 766 so about 100 100 more so it is what it is we're gonna try it out though see how it is it might be a pretty fun weapon uh, we're gonna continue to see where this uh cave takes us though this is right after we had op we had opened the door uh back there so we're in basically a whole nother oh wow okay the map just keeps going this is <laughs> <laughs> how big is this game going to be? I'm, I'm really wondering how big this DLC is going to get. I mean, in previous interviews, Miyazaki said it's as big as Limgrave, but... Um, Limgrave is already that big, right? Like, <laughs> or is it talking about the Southern Peninsula, too? Because if we look at the Southern Peninsula, it's already bigger than that. It's already bigger. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, seek dragon. Okay. Ooh. Where are we at? Everything's red over here. This is really cool. Uh, a whole bunch of dragons are down there. Nice. We're in like a dragon territory now. But I think we've been in a dragon territory. We still have not found two yet. Who tortured this dude? Uh, somebody, somebody tortured. Uh, where's he at? The, there's an NPC named. Hey, he disappeared. The, there used to be a dude right down here. His name was Igor. And he's gone now. After we defeated Dragon Dude. Interesting. So he might be tied into something with, that's coming up here. Maybe we'll be able to summon him, summon him for a future battle here. Because he said is he wasn't done yet. But he also, you know, sounded like he was dying, so I don't know. Baal, O Sarah Incarnate. Again, I stand for thee. Is that Baal, the dragon? Or no, there's many dragons. There's one, two, three. That can't be Baal. Too small of a dragon. Bale is probably a bigger dragon. Before going down there though, let's ride up over here, see if there's anything over here we missed. Mm. Uh, no, this dragon is dead right here. This is a dead dragon. No friend ahead. Dragon ahead, be wary of madness. Didn't expect weak foe. Dragon or dragon. Alright, uh, another dragon battle? Well, I can summon for it, so... Uh, let's uh, bring out somebody good to summon here. Who'd be a good dragon killer? Ancient Knight, or Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff. He might be good. Alright, ready dude? We're gonna, I'm gonna buff you here. Alright, let's try out this katana. If I'm double handing it, it's 819 with uh, Golden Bow. Jagged Peak Drake. Ooh, big damage. Oh, 
Oh, the stagger on that is really good. I like how he jumps with this katana, too. It's just like he jumped in the match. Ooh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Is that electricity that he has now? Ooh, he, his attacks are getting stronger. Dagger again? Can I get the... Don't get greedy here. This is how we lose fights. <laughs> Ooh. He has some type of lightning, too. Like a fire lightning. Very cool. Let's just play this safe. Yeah, Fire Lightning Dragon. I want some Fire Lightning spells. Dragon Scale, Dragon Scale Flesh. That is a... Consumable, is that? find out uh no it's an arrow or wait no maybe it's crafting material A lump of hot flesh carved from beneath the inverted scales said to grow on aged dragons. When ingested as is, booster, boosts vigor, stamina, strength, and dexterity at the cost of gradual HP loss. To the Drake Warriors, there is no more intoxicating liquor than the Heart of Dragons. Boost vigor, stamina, and dexterity at the cost of gradual HP loss. That doesn't seem very good to me. Um, there's a lot better things I could take, in my opinion, but maybe, you never know. Could come in for something, maybe. Uh, this is where we came down, right? We came down through there, took out Dragon Dude. Okay, so we have two different things here, but we have no map, though, over here yet. Be nice to get a map for this area. Don't believe it, revenge. Are these are just animals. That is a big uh, cow, goat. I don't know what you are. What's this? <laughs> Didn't expect giant. Holy crab. Good this. <laughs> uh, well, they're friendly, though. They don't hurt you. Make sure that I didn't miss anything up here. Probably nothing, but oh, maybe something. 
Uh, is that a skeleton? Because if so, I gotta switch out my weapon to something to kill skeletons. Red Bigger Bloom. What the heck is that, I wonder? Was that guy supposed to shoot at us? Because he had a bow. I wasn't getting shot at, though, by, down there by anything when I rode through here. I took my time. I wasn't, didn't get shot by anybody. Possible to get on the other side of that rock yet? Over there? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. There's skeletons over there, so... Apparently... Let's go make sure that we didn't... Uh, or actually, maybe we can go over and around. Yeah, there we go. Birds... They're probably skeletons. Over I did see the skeletons, though. They're not probably. There is. Uh, actually, that's a totally different area. There's probably nothing up here, but... me curious though I just don't want to miss anything important especially since it's been a while since we've uh, found a scad tree upgrade thing oh are there skip yeah there are skeletons here So nice to have this sword. <laughs> Instant killing. Don't have to worry about double tapping them. Red trigger balloon. So it's a crafting material. Oh, wow. Is that dragon alive? Holy crap. If that dragon is alive, we're going to be in trouble. Item ahead. Iggyan's cookbook. One of these times we're going to have to look at the crafting materials. If only I had a up. Mm, nothing up there. This seems like a very eerie place to be. Like, this is like a Dragon Communion spot, it looks like. If we look at... That's like a Dragon Communion spot. There's a Grace there, too. I don't, this thing's not going to come alive and kill us, right? It looks dead. It's completely dead. It's eyes wide open. This thing is completely dead. But am I, I'm kind of interested in what killed this thing, though. <laughs> Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Nice. Very, very cool find. Um, but yeah, really, what what could manage to kill this thing? Or did it just die of old age? I want to go home and then edge. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's check out what we can get Dragon Communion spell-wise. Commune with Bale. Oh, Bale is the guy that's... Ooh. Heart of Bale. We have no hearts of Bale. How do we get a heart of Bale? 
Veils Tyranny, channels Dread Dragon to roar with Heaven or Heat Wave Blasts. Veils Flame Lightning, channels Dread Dragon to strike with Flame Lightning infused Talon Bone. That's that Flame Lightning stuff. Arcane 53, one of the greatest Dragon Communion incantations. Harness the fearsome power of Veil the Dread. Channels the form of Dread Dragon in the right arm to smash foes with an exposed talon bone, outcoursing with flame lightning. After even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening. One day, the fire within will consume the very body of soul and commune and devour. One day, channels the form of the Dead Dragon to emit a mighty roar, accompanied by heat wave burst, violently causing violent eruptions of fire in the area. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist and subjugation, never weakening. Hmm. Interesting. You know what I'm getting a feel here? I'm thinking there's going to be a monster dragon in this DLC that we have to fight. And I'm really worried and concerned that it might be something like Madir. Uh, because if you remember my stream from Madir, it took me four nights to beat Madir. Uh, four nights, each stream was about two hours long. Uh, so I spent 12 hours trying to beat uh, Madir. <laughs> uh, definitely one of the hardest fights in my life. And one of my least favorite fights in my life. So I'm really hoping that's not the case, but it looks like it's going to be the case. So I'm thinking that there's going to be a monster dragon. What the heck is this thing? Warrior true. Picture yourself. Feasting upon the dragon's essence. On the throbbing heart of the oldest. Violent. Dragon of the Moor. It would be the purest form of communion, the fullest sating of your hunger and your consummation as a dragon. Oh. Hmm. Devour draconic essence. Do not partake. Ooh. Man. I don't know. I have a decision here on this. That could be a big decision here. Does she look trustworthy? <laughs> if let's let's put me in the scenario here. If I was out wandering in a world that I've never been to and I come across an old lady dressed up in dragon clothes and she offered me dragon essence to consume, would I do it? I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Um, I do have all the dragon spells consumed, so my character is a dragon dude. Like, his eyes are red. So, it would make well with this build, maybe. But if it messes up something with the story, could that be something? I don't know, man. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. That, I do not know if that's a good idea. I've got to think about that. I mean, you only live once, right? <laughs> Be wary of liar. I see. Okay. I didn't even read the message. I just went for it. <laughs> okay, we had nothing to lose there, right? Just a few hundred thousand runes. We'll go grab those runes quick and then we'll uh, see what else there is in this area. Dragon Communion Harpoon? What the heck is that? Throw to inflict damage with anti-dragon effect. Harpoon bristling with sharp gravel stones. It's a craftable item. Throw at enemies to inflict heavy damage. Has an anti-dragon effect. What's an anti-dragon effect? <laughs> a tool of the old dragon communion warrior who were the agents of ancient dragons. Hatred for their lowborn descendants. Hmm. Another one of those things. Well, maybe that'll come in handy later on. 
Uh, we're in a safety zone now. Now I can still swing. Okay, now I'm in a safety zone. Okay, interesting. So we can't hurt the Dragon Communion person. This whole area is like very Sekiro look like. Dragon. Still no dragon. <laughs> Head. There might be something up there. Kind of looks like there could be. No, just a note by somebody. Wow. What a what a view, man. What a view. All right, let's go back behind this dragon. Uh, is that going to kill me if I fall off here? No? Okay. Let's go back behind this dragon and see... If there's anything good back here. Wow, this is a beautiful area. It's like a dream. <laughs> Old Codger Wolf. Visions of Boss and then Snake. Whoa. Holy crap, what is all that? Fingers ahead. Whoa. Charo's Hidden Grave. Who's Charo? Ah, gorgeous view. Wow. Yeah, you would say gorgeous view. Definitely a gorgeous view. They cooked with this DLC, guys. They cooked. Oh my gosh. There's a reason it took two years to develop this, man. Pay attention, other studios. This is how you do DLC. This is like CD Projekt Red type of stuff right here. Oh, Maringer. Let's go! <laughs> Aw, he doesn't want to fight. I'm gonna kill him. Wonder if he'll give me death root. <laughs> Probably not, because he's not a boss. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wow, this is not just a Maringer. This is one of a remnant as well. Great. Goodness.
Oh no. I'm dead. Oh no. Shit. Shoot. Holy crap. I know why FromSoft did that, because everybody punished the Mariners before. <laughs> Speaking of that, where'd my Mariner get to? He escaped. Where'd he go? Gravekeeper's brain... Brain pan? Dude, where the heck did my Mariner get to? I really want to kill him now. For dragging me into that hell. Uh, there he is again. I'm wondering if there's another damn one of those things here. I'm going to be prepared this time. Alright, Maringer. You made me mad. I was just gonna end your life, and now... Oh great, he's gonna summon something crazy, I bet. Dang it, he's gone again. Oh no, I'm dead. I couldn't get away from that, I was stuck. Damn. All the way back here again? Shit. That Mariner has so much HP. <laughs> well, in my defense, I'm not using my strong Boonga Boonga weapon either, so... That's definitely not helping. Trying out different stuff, though, man. Trying out different stuff. Oh, these things are red now. Oh, they're red. That means they attack. Oh my gosh. Oh, they are not friendly. They are not friendly at all. Okay. Well, I had to see for myself. Had to know. I had to know. Great. Is that Remnant going to be there again? Probably. They... I'm sure it respawned. Um,
We don't really need to kill it. We just need to do enough damage to get the Mariner to move. his cookbook. Uh, Mariner had a cookbook. Hmm. All right. Bunch of gravestones here. My runes back. Ghost Flame Bloom, new type of flower, Cry Behind. No hidden path ahead. Hey, a grace. I was wondering. I was like, we're getting awfully far away. Is that water? Ice? Some mystic blue thing? <laughs> you actually thought he'd live? Uh, I guess he only lived once. You gotta try, right? Yeah, I try. You never know. It might work out for you. Hmm. I can summon here. Be wary of bird. Yeah, I see that. Uh... That's the best way to take those birds out, man. That works every time. Looks like there's going to be a few other birds here. One over there. Works better if you let them fly for a bit. These just statues? They're just statues. I can't lock on to them. And can't lock onto that thing for some reason. Oh, that's a death bird. Oh, this is like the home of the death birds. Very cool. I want to get rid of this thing though first. Come over here, man. I want to kill this thing first before... Oh, that's exactly why I wanted to kill this thing first. Because of that. <laughs> yeah, they're like baby death birds. Okay, uh, well. We know we're up against a death bird. So that's going to definitely be inseparable sword. Uh... Yeah, about it. <laughs> um, for summons, I'm thinking something with holy damage. Hallowed Tree Soldier Ashes summons four Hallowed Tree Soldiers. Nah, they look like the, they're the Grunt Soldiers, right? Nah, we don't want them. They're Grunts. Uh, we want somebody good. Has to be somebody with holy damage, which honestly, I really don't have much. Well, yeah, I do have a clean rot. I have a clean rot here. Oh, I can't use that. Uh, because I don't have enough magic. Well, now I can.
All right, Deathbird. Now goes here goes nothing. Death right bird. Mm, big damage. Oh no, he's gonna do. Yeah, I knew what he. I, I saw when he was hesitating there. I was like, oh, he's gonna do the thing. <laughs> yeah, we'll get this fight. This won't be bad. This is just not being dumb and running in when he's gonna do the exact attack that I knew he was gonna do. <laughs> uh, do I have to kill those birds again, man? Apparently I do. And there's one more bird. Where's he at? Didn't mean to summon them yet. Might run away from this so I can get the summons out. Or the summon out, I guess. Okay, I need to de aggro you. Can't summon here yet. Okay, now I can summon. Oh man. Now we have a smaller death bird here too. Damn, dude, where'd this guy do even come from? Where did he even come from? This fight, oh my gosh, there's two other birds here. All right, we're gonna have to kill those other birds first. Of course, leave it to Miyazaki to add more birds to an already deadly bird fight. Of course. Went past, put it past him. Okay, we need to count how many birds there are. What the shit, man? Okay, two. That's two birds. There's one over here. That's three birds. Where's the other birds at? That it came.
Somewhere those birds are. Here's another one. Well, of course, one is right back behind this thing. I'm dead. Damn, dude, this death bird is hard because of the other birds around. Hmm. Interesting. What if we take out the death birds? Because we don't know how many death birds are back behind it. What if we only aggro and take out the death birds up here and then bring the fight to us? Maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do. So let's take on these death birds first. This one didn't even aggro. Okay, I know we need to kill those two and then the third one over here. Those are the ones I know we need to take out. Oh no. Go back, go back, get out of here. Fight, fight back here. Don't press the fight. Shit, something's behind me. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. I thought, he, I thought something was firing from behind me. I was like, what? We gotta get him to come over to us. We are not gonna play this fight aggressive. I mean... How did that go through a rock? Come on, man. Like, how does that make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. Man, Ghost Flame is nuts, man. Yep. Get out of there, get out of there. Nice, that was pretty good. It's okay. I don't want to go that way, that's for sure. We need to get out of here. We need to get him kind of Diagro here. How many flasks do I have? I have eight left. It's not much. Damn, that reaches far. Wish I had a holy attack that reached that far. I don't, though. Thank you. To oh, gosh. Oh. Only needs like one more damn hit here. Gotta play this extremely safe. 
I don't have any large, wholly ranged anything, do I? Actually, I might. I might. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, how close is this that dude gonna get to me? That won't reach me, right? I want to be able to... Oh, he's getting closer. If I'm going to do anything, I've got to go away from the fight, but... He's so close to being dead, I might only need one more hit. I have five flasks, but it doesn't matter how much flask I got. If I get hit and bounded up in that shit, I'm dead. He knows I only have one more hit on him, too. <laughs> Yeah, he might leave me alone here. If he leaves me alone, I have an idea. Uh, that might reach me. That might... Damn, that shit's getting close. Alright, I've got an idea here. Hehehehe. <laughs> Lightning Great Bolt? Don't I have any honey holy great boats though? Thought I had holy great bolts. Okay. Oh, that's bad. That's not gonna reach how far I want it to, is it? might actually. Oops, that's not... <laughs> How do I aim this thing? Oh. Oh, it's right, okay. It's not that much damage, is it? I wonder what else I got here. Let's see what other great bolts I got. Hitting him or not? That hit him right on, but that didn't do any damage. Fire's not doing damage here. Um. Ballista bolt, maybe? Oops. Man, I suck at this thing. Ooh, not far enough. Okay, this is not working. Holy crossbow isn't going to shoot that far, is it? That's not going to reach. Well, I guess we're going to go up and finish it, and if we die, we die, right? Whew. 
man. Ah, dude's dead. <laughs> Ash of War Ghost Flame Call. Ooh. New Ash of War. Very cool. Okay. Um, let's go get our runes. I think we lost our runes, to be honest. I don't think there's anything over here. Well, there's some runes. We lost the whole caboodle, though, that we were carrying, but oh well. It's not a big deal. Honestly, with the farm that we get rune that we have, you know, runes are uh, not even needed, really. We're at 52 minutes. Let's uh, let's cap it off there, and uh, next episode we'll continue on. See where else goes here. I will actually make our way to this map marker probably, so we can get this area of the map unlocked. Yeah. All right. Stay tuned, guys. Much more coming soon.